We start here. The Saudi Tripartite Alliance has declared today Martin Tembisile Krisani Day of Action. The SACP, Kasata, as well as the ANC are marching to the Khosimampuru prison in Pretoria. This is in protest against the release of Hani's killer, Yanush Valush. Valush is said to be released from jail tomorrow. That's following the unanimous decision by the Constitutional Court to grant him parole. The NCS reporter, Bule Lishwiti Jones, joins us live now. Good morning, Bule. A bit earlier on, you spoke to Banyaza Lusufi, who insisted that it is their right to protest, although they remain individuals who respect the court's decision. Yes, definitely, um, Fundo, and as the message has been cleared and quite, um, you know, rigid by the Tripartite Alliance to say um, they are aggrieved by the decision, and like you've rightly said, the unanimous decision um, by the Constitutional Court to have um, Mr. Janusz Wallace released on parole. And also this comes on the back of what happened yesterday with the news being released that he was um, stabbed in prison by um, allegedly one of his housing inmates as well, in still in a stable condition. And what we understand is that today we are seeing this master be taking place through the correctional um, services, of course, in solidarity with the Hani family after what had happened in 1993 when Janusz Walus assassinated the SACP leader, Chris Hani. Joining me right now is, of course, SACP leader, uh, Mr. Soilema Paila. Thank you very much for joining us on ENCA this morning. So maybe let's just start off by saying um, the significance of today. What does it mean to you and to the SACP as well? Today we seek to keep the memory of Comrade Krizani alive and to refuse him being killed twice by our judicial system that he fought and laid his life for. His blood gave us April 27 that this country should respect. And I think uh, in this uh, way that uh, uh, Janus Walus was given parole, despite uh, not him not telling the truth or be remaining unrepentant, not apologizing to the f uh, family uh, in a sincere manner, that we only learned through the court process that somehow he apologized, we don't know to who, because the family doesn't know that. And I think uh, this is disparaging um, uh, to the family and to all of us who believe in justice. And this is a uh, process through the court of law. And I think that's the most unfortunate uh, uh, process. And we are here to ex express ourselves, to indicate that we are dissatisfied with this decision, while we respect uh, the rule of law and the courts of our country but we can express ourselves when we have that freedom that we fought for. We're exercising our freedom of uh, uh, expression today, but also to oppose, uh, in, in that exercise, to oppose his release on parole. Like, as you know, we have now filed documents with the relevant courts. We are awaiting responses from them to see what happens uh, going forward. And in your founding affidavit, affidavit, what are some of the arguments that you're tabling? Because, uh, you know, Mr. Yanush Wallace's lawyer believes that he was eligible for parole and that they did abide by the law. But what are some, some of the critical arguments will you be posing to oppose this decision to have him released on parole? In terms of the Parole Act processes, there are several stipulations. Among those um, is the victim-offender dialogue um, and telling the truth and being remorseful. So in this respect, Walus has never told the truth, has never conducted victim-offender dialogue, um, and therefore we don't understand on what basis he qualified, qualified on other things and so forth. And I think, like I said, the court process was abused to the extent that uh, he tried to engage on victim-offender dialogue and the uh, uh, Poor was not available for that process, which is incorrect because at the time that his uh, legal team, after she had indicated in public that there's not been forgiveness over these many years, uh, then the, his legal team called to indicate that they want to send their, a letter, and we indicated that she had uh, just left for Cuba at that time. And on that basis, little did we know that mischievously, they were making their call to try and say they are reaching out to us when actually they never reached out. They used that particular opportunity to write a letter only to deposit into the parole board system. Mm. But the process should have involved the family properly. So that the, the, uh, he, he tells the truth, they are satisfied, they forgive him or not forgive him, but such a process needs to be undertaken. It didn't take place. So you're saying the process was flawed? No, the process was extremely flawed, abused by this process. The same way that they abused the process of uh, medical parole of uh, at Life W. Lewis, which had we not opposed it on, on numerous occasions, we would not, not have gone to the deep root of the uh, crisis 
and the coordinated system of the right-wing forces within uh, our government system. That continues to undermine the rule of law and justice uh, in this country. So it is in this regard that we feel that um, our, our, our main uh, uh, issues were not considered and even if they were considered, even if the court had to, to make a particular ruling. If you look at the first uh, paragraph of uh, Justice Zondo's reading of the Constitutional Court judgment and his last wait, there's no empathy to the family. It's just the law, authoritarianism. I think that's, that's something, but the point is, we know it's the apex court of the land. Uh, it's, it's a judgment, a final, and we are exploring all other avenues to engage it, to express ourselves, because we are really dissatisfied with this process. Now, Mr. Walloons was due to be re released on parole just a few days from now, a few hours from now, one could say, rather. And just before that, we get the news that he's been stabbed, allegedly, by his housing inmate. As, as, as the SACP, what is your reaction on that? We don't need to comment on that. So I, <clears throat> what for? He killed our general secretary. Uh, that's the bottom line, and that's the reason why I'm here. So you're not going to say anything about that? No, I'm not interested in saying anything about that. Uh, the point is to stop him from leaving prison. That's our main focus at the moment. And how many members were expected from the SACP today? No, we don't have to have... Uh, as long as whoever is here, the numbers that are here, we will work with them uh, to express our uh, dissatisfaction. This has been done, as you know, from last week, from as far as the Western Cape in Pumalanga. Our structures have been demonstrating together with structures of the Alliance, of the Progressive Youth Movement, uh, the, the ANCU League, Young Communist League, SASCO, and all of the progressive youth formations, professional bodies. They've been with us on this. Uh, even uh, other parties that are not in, inside the Tripartite Alliance have expressed public messages uh, in solidarity with the Hani family and with the SACP, which we appreciate. And we, we, we don't care about the numbers. As long as these people that are here already for us, it's enough to demonstrate ourselves and our dissatisfaction. So how's the Hani family? I mean, you've been close to them. How are they feeling right now? Well, Sistimpo is devastated. I mean, uh, this is uh, it's a worse period for her. And I think she had never thought that uh, under democratic uh, South Africa, such a thing could happen. And that even if it were to happen, and not on the basis of her being uh, special or anything, but a sense of empathy from the judiciary with the family uh, would have been something that she could console herself. But now she has nothing to console herself. And you know, just uh, on Monday when we were having a discussion with the lawyers, a report comes in that uh, the monument of Kumar Kriz has been vandalized. You can imagine uh, the continued step wounds that she feels uh, going forward. This is sad for the family. It's sad for us too uh, in, in the part. This was our general secretary. And I think uh, the part would be much more different if he had remained uh, uh, to be given enough chance to lead this Communist Party. And the conditions of the working class, because this is a part of the instrument of the working class. So we really, we feel really aggrieved. The family feel, uh, feels aggrieved at this moment. Um, that's why, for instance, in some instances, uh, she was not able to participate even in some of the interviews. But she's quite distraught by this decision. I think uh, uh, but she has been consoled by the many solidarity messages from all corners of the people of our country. Even this morning, one comrade unemployed said, he just called me on my way here, says, please tell us, Dimpo, we are with you. I'm unable to join the march because I can't come. I, I'm, I'm not, I can't afford to reach Pretoria, it's in, in Tembisa. And he says, but I've at least sent, uh, managed to get air time to let you know that uh, we are with her. Thank you very much there, let's see. SACP leader Solima Payla Mfundo joining us uh, this morning, just saying that we'll also be looking at uh, different avenues as to um, using the legal route to oppose the release of um, Janusz Waluz, who we understand, of course, was stabbed in prison yesterday, allegedly by an inmate. They've also said that they've been receiving um, flooding messages of support for their march to the correctional services in solidarity with the Hani family and, of course, their leader. Chris Hani, who was assassinated in 1993 by himself, Mr. Janusz Walus. On your screen right now, as you can see, is members of the Tripartite Alliance who are beefing up their numbers and just 
gunning and gaining that energy before that uh, um, anticipated march to the correctional Kosimampuru Correctional Services in Pretoria, which is just about uh, 15 minutes away from where we are, this venue here in Burgess Park, Pretoria Central. They're saying that they are also expecting some members of the ANC, SASCO, ANC Youth League, Kosatu to make their way to the park. From there on, once the program will be spearing ahead. All right, we'll catch up with you a little bit later on as soon as the program does officially get underway. That's reporter Bule Lishwiti Jong.